Disney Frozen 2. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Disney Frozen 2. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. In the kingdom of Arendelle, Anna and Elsa loved the lullaby their mother sang to them when they were children. The lullaby was about a secret river that held all the answers about the past. It gave the girls a lot to think about and excited their imagination. As time went on, Anna and Elsa grew older. Anna discovered her magical power over snow and ice, which became stronger and stronger. One night, a mysterious voice called to her. What did it want? Elsa realized that the voice wanted her to travel. She went to the field and shouted out an enormous icy blast. It was clear that Elsa's magic had done something new and powerful. But what did it mean? The trolls rolled up to the cliffs to let Elsa know that her blast had awakened the spirits of the enchanted forest. They warned her that the spirits were angry. The forest was also home to a nomadic group of people called the Nora. Elsa knew in her heart that she was being called by the mysterious voice to the enchanted forest. Anna and her friends Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven went with Elsa into the forest. They met the wind spirit, who whirled around them. They also met the Nora people, who told them stories and revealed that they were more similar to Elsa, Anna, and their friends than they thought. While Elsa and her friends were getting to know the Nora, the mighty fire spirit appeared and set the enchanted forest on fire. Elsa tried to stop the spreading fire with her magic, but it wasn't working. Kristoff helped Anna and the reindeer escape the flame. Elsa was finally able to calm the fire spirit by feeding it snowflakes. The fire spirit was actually a little salamander. Elsa heard the voice again and noticed that the fire spirit could hear it too. Elsa couldn't stay any longer. She had to continue her journey. Anna and Olaf joined her, while Kristoff and Sven stayed behind with the Nora, heading north. Anna and Elsa discovered their parents' shipwreck inside the ship. They studied the map and learned that their parents had traveled north to understand why Elsa had magic. Elsa feared losing Anna, just as she had lost her parents. Elsa decided to make the rest of the journey alone, with a heavy heart. She formed a boat made of ice that scooped up Anna and Olaf and carried them safely away. Anna and Olaf loudly protested, but there was no way they could stop the boat. After Anna accidentally steered it toward the sleeping earth giants, Anna and Olaf kept quiet as they passed them. Meanwhile, Elsa reached the next part of her journey, the Dark Sea. Now she needed to cross it. The water knocked up from the sea and tried to stop Elsa. After a fierce battle, Elsa and the water knock realized that their powers were equal. A mutual respect formed between them. Meanwhile, Anna and Olaf's journey continued into a cave where an ice sculpture appeared in front of them. It was a signal from Elsa. The journey had answered some of the queen's questions. Elsa had finally arrived in the north. The voice that had called to her now quieted to a whisper, and she realized it had been within her all along. It had guided her to discover her inner peace. By working together, the sisters were able to restore peace and harmony to the land at last. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.